Namaste and welcome back to Edgy Cardio Wise. I am Dr. Ameya Amonkar. In our last episode, we decoded how sleep or the lack of it literally sets your blood pressure every morning. Now the question is, what's really sabotaging your sleep and how can you fix it? Today, we'll uncover the hidden habits keeping India awake from doom scrolling to coffee cravings and more. I'll also take you through the edgy cardio wise sleep protocol, the exact steps that I give my patients to restore their nighttime dip. And yes, improving sleep from 5 to 6 hours to 7 to 8 hours can lower systolic blood pressure by 8 to 10 millimeters of mercury. So if you want to sleep better, wake up fresh and see your BP calm down, stay with me till the very end. Let's transform your nights and protect your heart together. Now let's talk about the real reason most Indians don't sleep well. See, we don't have insomnia in the medical sense. We have overload, overthinking, overstimulation and overcommitment. Let's look at the top sleep killers I see in the clinic every single day. The first is screen light and doom scrolling. See, blue light from your phone blocks melatonin, the hormone that tells your brain, boss, ab night ho gayi hai, now shut down. But when you are scrolling Instagram reels, WhatsApp forwards or stock market news at 11.45 p.m., you are literally telling your brain it's still daytime, don't sleep. And the brain listens. This delays sleep by 30 to 60 minutes, lowers REM sleep and increases morning BP. Second, late night caffeine. Yes, even the late evening coffee. See, caffeine has a half-life of about 6 hours. So your 7 p.m. cold coffee can still be active in your system at 11 p.m delaying deep sleep, reducing restorative sleep and increasing heart rates at night, especially in people who metabolize caffeine slowly. See, if it's a double shot cappuccino that you had in the cafe with your friends, there is high chance the caffeine will still linger. Third, irregular meal times, late heavy dinners, 9.30, 10, sometimes even 11 p.m. It will keep your digestive system working over time. Now your heart rate stays elevated, your core body temperature rises and your sleep becomes shallow and fragmented. Now, studies even show that late night high calorie meals can cut down sleep by 20% or more and increase acid reflux, both of which can naturally blunt your nighttime BP take. Fourth, stress carryover. Now, it's not work that kills sleep, it's taking work to bed. That one email you read at 10.58 pm, that message from your boss, that thought, kal ka presentation ready hai ya nahi? Your body instantly switches into alert mode. Your heart rate goes up, cortisol goes up, nighttime BP refuses to tick. You are lying in bed but your mind is still in the office. Remember our pillow cannot cancel your inbox. Fifth, sleep apnea, the silent blood pressure driver. Now this is the most underdiagnosed cause of high BP in India. Now every time a person with sleep apnea snores, stops breathing, chokes and then gasps, their BP surges. Now this can happen 50 to 300 times a night. Imagine what that does to the heart. If your partner says you snore like a generator or you wake up tired despite 7 to 8 hours in bed, please get checked. A simple sleep study can change or save your life. In Indian homes, snoring is a running joke between spouses, but medically it's your body's SOS ringtone. The good news, you can repair your sleep rhythm faster than you think. Now when patients here fix your sleep, they imagine expensive gadgets like white noise machines or Himalayan salt lamps. Relax, this is edgy cardio wise and not a spa commercial. Here's a BP sleep protocol that actually works and costs absolutely nothing. First, fix your sleep and wake time. See, even on weekends, your brain loves routine more than romance. Every time you shift your bedtime, by two hours, your circadian rhythm becomes confused. It's like switching time zones even without changing cities. A regular sleep cycle improves melatonin release, cortisol rhythm, your nighttime BP dip and deep sleep duration. The smoother the routine, the smoother your BP graph. Second, lights off, screens off 30 minutes before bed. And you don't need to do a digital detox. Just stop the nightly analysis of memes, forwards and comment section. Read a book, stretch, write a gratitude journal or just lie down, but ditch the phone time. Your brain will switch from scroll mode to sleep mode. Third, limit caffeine and alcohol after 6 pm. See, alcohol can knock you out fast, but destroys deep sleep, especially in the second half of the night and causes BP spikes due to rebound sympathetic activation. 
Now, this alone can restore 30 to 40 minutes of deep sleep for many people. Fourth, add a pre-sleep relaxation ritual. Your body needs a landing sequence. The simplest ones work best like the 478 breathing and a slow belly or diaphragmatic breathing. Let's do a quick 478 breathing round. Now, this helps slow your heart rate and switches off your stress system. So, sit or lie down comfortably. Now, inhale gently through your nose for a count of four. Hold that breath for seven seconds. And now exhale slowly through your mouth for eight seconds. Do this four times. It takes just one minute and it signals your brain that it's safe to relax. Now let's try belly breathing, the most natural way to calm your body. Place one hand on your chest and one on your belly. Inhale slowly through your nose and let your belly rise like a balloon. Your chest stays still. Now exhale gently through the mouth and feel the belly fall. Again, inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly relaxes. Keep your shoulders loose. Keep the breath smooth and try to breathe at 6 to 8 breaths per minute. Now just 1 to 2 minutes of this can reduce your heart rate, relax arteries and help you fall asleep faster. Fifth, check for sleep apnea. Now please understand snoring is not a cute family joke. If you snore, wake up tired or your partner says you stop breathing in the night, get tested. A simple sleep study can help identify a problem you never even knew existed. And sixth, keep the room cool, dark and quiet. See, deep sleep requires a lower core body temperature. Even 1 degree Celsius warmer room temperature can delay deep sleep by 15 to 20 minutes. So use blackout curtains, a fan or moderate AC and dim lighting. A cool room equals a calmer heart. Clinical trials show that improving sleep from 5 to 6 hours to 7 to 8 hours can lower systolic BP by 8 to 10 millimeters of mercury. That's equivalent to one antihypertensive tablet minus the side effects, minus the pharmacy bill and minus the morning regret of skipping your dose. And better sleep also improves insulin sensitivity, morning energy, your cravings, mood and BP variability. It is without doubt the most underrated BP medicine we never talk about. Now, a quick but important reality check. See, good sleep habits solve a lot, but not everything. If you're still waking up tired, if your mornings feel heavy, if you have unexplained headaches, or if your partner says you snore loud enough to register on the Richter scale, it's time to get evaluated. See, these are not small issues. They can signal conditions like first is sleep apnea, where breathing pauses that spike BP all night. Second, restless leg syndrome, there could be depression or anxiety, poor medication timing, and finally, thyroid or vitamin deficiencies. A simple sleep study can uncover sleep apnea, and a quick visit to your doctor can help adjust your medication dose, your medication timing, or even the type of antihypertensive you're on, because sometimes the issue isn't you, it's the timing, the rhythm, or an underlying sleep disorder. And finally, fixing sleep may not always replace BP medicines. It potentiates them, it makes your BP easier to control, your mornings clearer, and your body far more cooperative. See, sleep is the partner your medicine had always wanted. So how does sleep affect BP? See, when you sleep well, your BP dips, your heart rests, and your arteries repair. When you sleep less, you carry stress into your vessels, day after day. So the real question isn't, can I afford to sleep 7 hours? It's, can my heart afford if I don't? So tonight, put your phone to charge and yourself too. Because the best thing you can do for your BP doesn't come from a pharmacy, it comes from your pillow. In our next video, we'll tackle a life-saving topic, the early signs of heart attack most people miss. Trust me, you don't want to skip this one. If you found this video helpful, please share it widely. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do hit that subscribe button. Goodbye and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, sleep well, breathe deep and stay cardio-wise.